Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. I got a quick tip for you today, which is Colada files. Now Colada is an open source file format. It's available on most uh, 3D 3D programs. You know, 740 Maya, 3D Max, Blender, Lightwave. Although I think for uh, uh, Maya and Max in Blender, I think you need a plugin to use them. But with Colada files, what the point is, is you can export uh, animations and a bunch of that stuff with the file to these different applications. And I know that sounds cool, but I've tried it and I've had not such great results. But uh, there's that new one that what ILM and Imageworks is doing, Alembic Files, which from everything I heard is supposed to be way better. But let's get back to what we're doing, which is Collada Files. Now, the cool thing about Collada Files is everything you see on Google Earth, well, not everything, but most of the stuff you see on Google Earth is saved as a Collada File, and they save all these models on their website, which you can download. So let's take a look real quick. Let's go to the internet. So let's search for uh, 3D Warehouse. Brings up uh, 3D Warehouse, Google, sketchup.google.com slash 3D Warehouse. Let's click on that. And uh, there's a lot of stuff here. So you got what, museums, football stadiums, town halls. So this is basically every model you'll find on Google Earth plus a lot more. So there's uh, pretty much any building you can think of in the world, as well as cars, football stadiums, baseball stadiums. You can get pretty much anything you think of. Now most of these models are pretty low res and aren't very good for most things, but for some things they can be very cool. So let's find a cool building here. Let's look for, um, I don't know, Empire State Building. And a lot of results. And there's always some that are way better than others. Let's just click the first one. And oh, that actually looks pretty good. So you go to download model want the Collada file. Let's download that. It's a pretty small file because most of these are just uh, really low res geometry with uh, satellite images from Google Earth projected onto them. So let's download this. So let's go into this. Uh, we go into it. Uh, we got our model. Let's open it up. Oops. We got our model, and we can just drag this straight into Cinema 4D. Brings up the Collada 1.4 importer. And we want to import all of this. Let's hit open. And look at this. We've got the Empire State Building looking right at us. Now you can see it looks like there's transparency on it. If we render, you can see that it turns out black. And a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times they come in with transparency on for some reason. We can just flip that off and there is the Empire State Building. Took us no time. We can get a floor on here. We can get a, uh, a physical sky. Let's take a look at this. Look at that Empire State Building. Let's, ooh, let's zoom out a little bit. Ooh, that is nice. And so most of these models are free to download. I mean, give credit to whoever made them. Uh, I did do some previs stuff recently, and it was nice to just be able to grab a lot of these models and just kind of toss them in there as placeholders for now, just to kind of uh, set up camera moves and you know perspective and all that, all that jazz. And you know that was kind of short and point. We can do more with this. So here I I just collapse everything down. So I just selected. So I just unfolded all the menus and groups. I did a right. I selected them all, right-clicked, and uh, connect object and delete. So I just brought everything into one, one object just to make it easier to deal with. So let's put a. I don't know. Let's do like a bend or something. I don't, yeah, like a bend or something. Uh, unlimited. Uh, let's turn it so we don't see all that gross stuff. Uh, and let's have it like spring up or something. Bring it up. Uh, let's make it bounce a little bit. We can put a uh, delay effector on it. We need to put it underneath the bend. We need to change this to point. Let's go in and make this spring. Hit play and kind of kind of bounces up. So make it a pop up book for King Kong. And as the book opens, the Empire State Building flips up. I don't know. So I mean. You know, there's a lot you can do with this. Depending on what you're making, you can go onto the 3D warehouse. There's so many models. Now, you might run into a problem sometimes where if there's an object with uh, transparency, 
where if you open up the material, sometimes you'll have to drag the uh, color channel straight into the alpha channel to make the alpha, because for some reason they're not automatically set up with alpha. So on some of these, there's, there's some work to set them up right. But, I mean, for not building them, the, it really saves you a hell of a lot of time. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this. Just be sure to leave credit for the models you downloaded, because, you know, stealing models is not cool. So anyway, for DigitalSandwich.net, this is Glenn. Please keep checking back to the site, guys. We have some cool stuff coming up. So be sure to check back and, and see what's up next.